The use of red, white, and blue in Paris, Texas is impossible to miss. It is so apparent and it appears in almost every scene in the movie. It even appears in the opening shot of the movie. The movie's opening is extremely beautiful and vast and it helps to show how lost and confused the main character is because why else would someone be wandering in the middle of nowhere? It opens the movie with a lot of intrigue and questions and I think that is the best way to open a movie. I also think the use of wide shots in the introduction is very useful because it literally shows you all the possibilities you have in the movie to come. When Travis finally meets some sort of civilization, it shows a lot of green, which I think is only used in the film to express an unsettling feeling, a feeling of disconnection or of uneasiness. I think the director uses the use of green to express that something r is wrong or broken in the scene. Green is also used in the hotel and at night when they are driving on the highway. It all has its own unsettling mood, and I think it helps to convey that. I think red, white, and blue represents the perfect family that Travis and all the characters in the movie want. And honestly, it re represents what the audience wants too. It represents the hope. It represents the good things in the movie when red, white, and blue all appear together. For example, oftentimes even the characters appear in, appear in all red, white, and blue. For example, the sun in this scene. Mirrors are used almost the entire final scene of the movie. When Travis is talking to his lost wife, she can only see her reflection for the entire scene until the end when Travis tells her to turn off her light and he turns on his. It shows his face to her but doesn't show him her face. I think an interesting fact is the idea that they never can see each other at the same time, which is really melancholy. It shows that they aren't on the same page. It shows they are still lost and when Travis walks away from the light, it shows that he is truly not coming back. It, and it's a great closing to the movie. However, Travers, however, it also shows that Travis did what he needed to do, and he completed his mission, which was to find his wife and bring his son and his wife together.